there's no Russell Grant postcard today. Bummer. 100% is on, though, after Rob. It's just gone 20 past five. I'm Rob Butler. NATO says it's determined to put the bombing of a refugee convoy behind it and press on with further strikes against Slobodan Milosevic. Allied warplanes have spent the day pounding further targets around the capital, Belgrade, and in Montenegro. As they did, NATO was again expressing regret for the bombing of a convoy in which more than 60 refugees died. A spokesman said any other claims of civilian casualties were for Belgrade to explain. I have no indication at the present time that NATO was responsible for any other damage to a civilian vehicle than the incident North of Jakobica described to you yesterday. But, let's, was let's, one, but was it the one that is being shown on, for which you are being blamed? Well, I do not blamed. accept any blame for any other incident except the one which we were able to investigate north of Jakovica and which we outlined to you yesterday. On 5 News at 6, Julia Bremner will report on the unanswered questions about the bombing. Two of the High Street's biggest names are to merge. The supermarket chain Asda is preparing to join forces with Kingfisher, which already owns Woolworths, B&Q, Comet and Superdrug. If the merger goes through, it will create the biggest retail company in Britain, employing around 130,000 staff in more than 2,000 stores. A man has been remanded in custody over the murder of the Somerset schoolgirl Ashley Robinson. Matthew Howick will appear again in a week. Ashley's naked body was found in an alleyway in Guildford on Tuesday. The 17-year-old had been there on a night out with friends. The government is reopening an investigation into the sinking of a British trawler 25 years ago. 36 people died when the gall went down off the Norwegian coast. A new search will be launched to recover the bodies of three people thought to have been in the crew which were washed up in Russia. Jerry Halliwell has been spicing up the airwaves to launch her solo career. After delivering her new single to Radio 1 this morning for its first play, she turned the airwaves blue by spelling out a four-letter swear word. But is the record really worth the fuss? Judge for yourself. We're finding out what the experts think of Jerry's new song in 5 News at 6 o'clock. And Peter Lane will have the latest from the trial of a GP accused of murdering an elderly patient. Plus, in First on Five. Pain for Pleasure, the campaign to have S&M legalised. Here's a look at tonight's weather now. There are going to be wintry showers across most of the country. In the south, though, it should be a little bit drier with some clear intervals. Top temperatures range between 6 and 11 degrees. That's it. I'll see you for 5 News at 6.